Hey folks, this is IOE throwing back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Deadly Smurf. He's in his T69. It's a tier 9 game on steps, and it's an encounter battle. Wait, when did they start doing two tier top tiers? I mean, I like it, but cool. I mean, it's a little weirder than I was expecting, but I like it, actually. Um, so hopefully not so much... Just getting destroyed <laughs> because you're bottom tier. Okay, cool. Good to know. Um, so this tank is, I mean, people give it issues because of the fact that it's got low pen. Um, and so a lot of people end up firing heat out of it all the time. But really this thing is quite amazing if you can just get into flanking positions and shoot at weak spots. You shouldn't be shooting for the front uh, of heavy tanks armor anyway. But something like a Scorpion G sitting out in the open that we can just start to clip out will go really, really well. Oh, well, this poor Scorpion G is down to 500 health. Wow, 459. So he has focus head back up again. Does he think he can do something? The answer is we should be reloading, I think. Oh, the answer is no, he still can't do anything. You can see those shells just ricocheting off of the rounded parts of this, this tank. This tank has some uh, nice round surfaces on the turret that as long as you're moving or they're not really aiming, um, those shots are more like good ricochet off and nowhere than anything else. And so now we got two friendlies pushing up and this T29 is quickly, or sorry, Tiger is quickly and finding itself in a bad position. I don't think we're going to get a shot on it. I think we're probably going to end up we can face off with that T29 that was over here and is still over here. Doesn't realize we're here yet. Now it'll know we're here, but it's a bit late by now. Going, f Not going for the tracking shot? Oh, there we go. Disabling it with the last shot after we do 700 damage to it. I should hope an ally is able to hit it. There we go. Good. I was going to say, like, if, if you can't hit a stalled T29, I don't know what you're going to be able to do in this game. Um, as the rest of our team starts to clean up the other half of the enemy forces, they are on the cap, but it's going to take them almost four minutes to cap normally. Um, I'm sorry for the yawning. I don't know why I'm yawning. Um, it is early in the morning, but, um, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> Just don't mind it. I'm sorry. Um, please note, I didn't forget to put out a video on Sunday. Um, I've decided that uh, World Tanks is going to be taking a break on Sundays for a while. I've wanted to try and get away from World Tanks a little bit um, because I'm not enjoying this game nearly as much as when I first started. But I still love it enough that I still want to do it like six days a week, maybe only five days a week. We'll see. But uh, for now it's six days a week. And so Sundays are just going to be whatever I want kind of days. Um, You'll still be getting a video. There'll still be a Minecraft video. More, more likely a Minecraft video out on Sundays. Um, but it, there won't be any more World Tanks. Um, for a while there, I was trying to figure out like what to do on Sundays. Because when Saturday, Friday, Saturday, and Wednesday are the three days a week that I like to put out like big videos where we got hype going on. You know, those are the ones with the eight thousand damage or you know, 10 kills or that sort of thing. Uh, and Sundays, I was just struggling with what to put out on Sundays that was, you know, to what would follow after a Saturday, right? And so I've just decided we're just going to go with nothing. Nothing's going to follow after a Saturday. Um, yeah. So we're going to... Okay, well, that's a great way to die is a 1375 run out in front of a tank destroyer. Um, yep, that is fixed camera. As he looks to finish off the J Panther, he does get it thanks to a bit of um, the help from the C20. And we're up to almost 20, 2300 damage. It's not bad. It's uh, not amazing, but it's not bad. And uh, we're going to press on towards the cap. For some reason, they're still trying to cap. I don't get this. Uh, this is really dumb at this point in time. They should be looking to aggress back and fight. Uh, there's no way they're going to win by capping, and they must know that, right? Like, I mean, 
You'd think they would know that? Oh, as artillery tries to take us out. Uh, friendly artillery. Supposedly friendly artillery. We do a bunch more damage, and we're approaching 3,000 damage. There is a WZ down in the corner of the map. Apparently doing his best to win the game by himself. So we're going to charge down there, and we're just going to speed up as we get... Or until we get to the point where we can actually shoot at him, which Delhi seems to think he can hit him from here. Um, I don't know if that's true or not. It depends on where the WZ is. Yes, we can. Uh, can we put a good shot into him? Yeah, that shot dipped and went into the front plate. And because of the angle we're shooting at, oh, it went in. Uh, unfortunately, the third shot did not. Fourth shell, nope, was going to miss. And he'll, he'll be dead by the time we reload. So that was a great game. Um, I enjoyed the positioning. Once again, he didn't take this tank headlong into the enemy. He moved around the sides and flanking and other stuff, circling enemies and stuff. And it was a great use of the tank. Um, and stay tuned for the bonus clip after we finish what he got out of this. Wow. <laughs> Marsh Badge First Class, Bruiser, Demo Expert, Fire for Effect, and just well done um, soloing or picking it up the enemies he, he picked up on this. Uh, that Ramatol just wanted to sit in the open. And so, I mean, we got a ton of damage out on him because he just decided he was going to sit out in the open. Uh, it's same with the T-29. And sometimes you just have to let the enemies be dumb and then take advantage of that. And uh, Deadly did really well doing that in this game. Second most on damage on his team. And, I mean, he's not top tier. So there, it wasn't like he had that running for him. But, like, look at the rest of his damage on this team. This is horrendous. What are you people doing? How do you... How does a... How do you get zero damage as an artillery? You fired two shells. How do you not land a shell close enough to do something? Special with an American artillery. I could understand if it was you know, a German or French. You know, the, the shell explosion radius isn't quite as big. But seriously? American? You can't land something within a city block of, of your target? And, uh, yeah. Just well done overall, Deadly. Thank you so much for saying this, and this was a joy to watch. I almost want to bring up my T69 again and play it again, but I, I don't have time right now, so. Enjoy the bonus clip, and I'll see you all later at this IOE thread. Now he's dead.